Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel once again. I am Kanishka from Dwemski and I hope you all are doing great. Today in this video, we are going to see what is the role of environment variables and how to create them in Dynamics 365 CRM. Imagine that there is a company that has a customer support system and they use Dynamics 365 CRM for this evening. The company needs to ensure that their CRM solution can be seamlessly deployed across their three different environments that is development, UAT and production. Here the customers can contact the company through multiple ways and one of the ways is email. So the company has three different email addresses across each environment and the company has used these email addresses in multiple power automate flows across each environment. And imagine if the email addresses gets updated in future. In this case, the company has to go through each Power Automate flow to update the email addresses. This may not be the best way possible as it is very tedious task. This is one of the scenarios where comes environment variable in rescue. Environment variables are a feature of Power Apps that allows you to store and reuse values across your apps, flows, etc. These are configuration elements that store data at an environment level. They are like global variables that you can define once and use anywhere. You can also change them without modifying your application or the flow logics. And here also, the company creates environment variables for the three different environments. That is development, UAT and production. And the company updates the email addresses by going to a central place rather than updating each flow in each environment, which in results updates the addresses in every flow. Now let us see how to create environment variables in Power Apps. So let's get into the system. So I have already signed into Power Apps and have created a solution named as environment variable solution. Let me tell you the scenario on which we will be working on. We will send an email to the support address using environment variable when a new case gets created. For that, we will be creating a Power Automate flow. So before that, we will be creating environment variable. I'll go here under new and will select more and will select environment variable. A new window will open up and here we have to give the details about the environment variable. The first is display name. Display name is the name which get displayed for your environment variable. So here I'll be giving the name as email address variable. Then we have name. This gets generated automatically as you give a display name. But you can also change the name by modifying it here. This will act as a schema name for the environment variable. And then they are asking about the description. This part is optional. Here you can include the details like what will be the functionality of this environment variable or any other data. And then the data type for environment variable. Here we have multiple options like decimal number, JSON, text, yes, no, or in other words, two option set, data source and secret. Now, because we have to send an email, using environment variable that will store the email address for that I'll be using text and as you select a data type you are provided with two fields default value and current value. So the thing is Microsoft has created two tables environment variable definition and environment variable values. These tables basically store the environment variables created for your organization as records and here the default value stores the value which you want the variable to return by default. Like when there is no value overriding the default value. And the current value is the value that overrides the default value. Current value gets stored as an environment variable values table and is associated to record of environment variable definition that consists of other details like display name, name, description and other. So here I'll be giving the default value as the email address to which we are going to send an email. After that, I'll click on save. Now after that, we will be creating a Power Automate flow to send the email. So for that, I'll go under new 
I'll go under automation and will create an automated cloud flow. I'll be skipping this part because I'll be filling out these details later. So let's start by naming our flow as send email as case record gets created. And then we will be starting with the trigger of the flow. I want my Power Automate flow to trigger when a new case record gets created in the system. So for that, I'll be using the data source as Microsoft Dataverse and the trigger as when a row is added, modified or deleted. Here I'll be selecting the change type as added and the table name as cases. And the scope of my flow will be organization and let me rename this action as when case record gets created and after that we will be sending an email so for that i'll use send email action office 365 outlook here this to recipient will be the environment variable that we have created so i'll go under the dynamic content and here we have email address variable and the subject of my email will be as new case record created and I will be giving the description of my email as here this flow I have created is very basic your flow can be complex as per your requirement but the main focus is on how you are going to use the environment variable let me save this and also I would like to tell you the email address that I have used in the email address environment variable that was just for the demo purpose. You can use an existing email address that you are using to send email or receive email. Now let us test this flow. For this we need to create a new case record. So here I am in my sales hub application under the sales table and I will be creating a new case. Let me have the case title as and after that I'll choose the customer. So this much details are enough to save the record. Now let me go back to the flow and check if this flow ran successfully or not. So I'll go under here. Here you can see our flow ran successfully. Let me check this. If I expand this action here we can see a record has been created and its title is coffee machine filter issue and then an email has been sent to the value that we have provided in the environment variable. So this is how you can use your environment variable. Now there can be one more scenario like I already told you you can create three different environment variables for three different environments development, UAT and production. But what if you don't want to create three separate environment variables for each of the environments? Like if you want to use the same environment variable from one environment to the another environment. So how are you going to do that? So currently I am in my environment named as CS trial by Kanishka. I am having another environment. So let me switch there. Here I am having another environment named as sales trial. So in short, I want to use the environment variable that I have created in this environment. Let me show it to you. This particular environment variable in this environment. So how you can do this? You can create a new solution in your source environment that is CS trial by Kanishka. Here I have already created a solution named as environment variable export solution. In this solution, I will add the environment variable that I have created for the email address. So I'll go under add existing. I'll go to more and here I have an option to add the existing environment variable. Let me search it by its name here email address variable. I'll include its definition and add it. Now I will be exporting this solution to my target environment that is sales trial. So for that, I'll select the solution here. I have an option to export it. I'll click on export solution and then it will ask me for some prompts. So firstly, we need to publish all the changes. 
you need to wait for few minutes as it will take a while now because i am exporting this solution to my trial environment just for the demo purpose so i'll be clicking on unmanaged but this scenario usually happens when people move their solutions from development environment to production environment but that is not in my case so i'll be proceeding with this and then i'll click on export Okay, so we have this okay. solution okay. exported. Now you have to click on download. Now, as this gets downloaded in your system, now it's turn to go to the Power Apps in the target environment that is Sales Trial in my case. So here I'll go under Solution. Now, because my solution is already in my system, so I'll just need to import. I'll click on this. Now you can see it is asking us to select the file from the system. Now here I have selected the location of my solution that I exported from my source environment. Then I'll click on next. And now you can see the details and click on next. Now here, now because my solution includes an environment variable, so it will ask me like what exact value I want to have. For example, if I have imported a solution from development environment to production environment so here my email address will change from dev to prod so i can change it to prod like this and you can proceed to import and here you can see the solution got imported successfully so this is how you can proceed and work with environment variables the scenarios with environment variables are multiple it helps to provide new parameter values while importing solutions to the other environment like we did here. You can store configuration for the data sources used in the Canvas applications or Power Automate flows. You can package and transport your customization and configuration together and manage them in a single location. So this was the end to our introduction to what are environment variables and how to use these. I hope this video is helpful for you all. If you like this video, don't forget to follow us. Thank you and have a great day.